special thanks to Sicily Activities for planning our week-long Sicily adventure. All the details will be in the description below. Hello travel lovers and welcome to A Wanderlust for Life on YouTube, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. Today we are taking you to two different Sicilian towns. We're starting off in Noto, a town that used to be a really big deal. And then we are headed to a fishing village called Marzamemi. If you are wanting to see some more of Italy and more of Europe, don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. So now let's get into it. We've stopped in a little shop and we were trying um, chocolate that's very specific to Maltica. And we are here in Noto, but it's very close by. So this is something that you can find here in the specialty shop. And so we're gonna give it a try. It's very different from regular chocolate. Um, it doesn't melt in the sun. You can see the sugar crystals and it's very dark. So I picked the, cho the chocolate orange flavor. Wow, it kind of coats your mouth and you definitely get like the crunchy of the sugar. I kind of like it. Uh, we were told that you kind of either love it or hate it. I love it. It has very strong chocolate flavor, so you don't get that super sweet milk flavor, even though you get the sugar, like crispiness from it. There's, oh, and there's tons of flavors, like ridiculous amounts of flavors, like 20? <laughs> more, more than 20 flavors. So there's tons here. Um, they also have famous almonds from another town nearby, Avula. And these almonds are popular at weddings to give as gifts. Um, so we're gonna try one of those next. Now we're gonna try the famous almonds and we're told to try the plain one first. This is the most popular. Um, it's also uh, kind of not the hardest to grow, but like the way that it's grown, they have a really good harvest and not such a good harvest. So it's pretty special. And it's also what they use to make these coated almonds, which is very popular at the weddings, like I said. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Very mild, great texture. I'm no almond expert though, <laughs> but it's really good. Oh, now like after the taste, you really get the almond like um, essence, kind of like if you eat an almond uh, candy or something, um, you get that really nice sweet flavor on the back end. That's really nice. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. This one I'm excited about because this is the salted with rosemary and thyme. Not the exact same almond, but still from that famous area. Mm. I could snack on that all day. It's like a little, like a very herby snack to have. It's not just almond. It has like all these flavors in it. Ooh. This is our first stop of the day. <laughs> this is not boating well. I mean, in a good way. There, there's so many cool things to learn and try. So we're gonna keep exploring Noto now. Are learning a lot about Noto. So this city, um, originally it was kind of destroyed by an earthquake. It's the famous earthquake in Sicily that everybody talks about and they reconstructed it about seven kilometers away. So when they did that they kind of made it hilly so they have terraces, there's different levels to the city but everything is this gorgeous stone. Um, this is limestone and there's just so many epic buildings here and we're walking down the main street so this city is a planned city which is not something you typically find especially in Sicily and in a lot of Italy um, so the lanes are pretty straight everything's like crisscross and stuff like that um, and also the road that we were on the level used to be different but because the road used to be like <laughs> this for some reason and um, when they started using carriages they made the road lower and flat so like a lot of these things are about seven, eight feet higher than the ground. So there's entrance to churches and stuff like that, that are like seven feet off the ground. So they made obviously a new um, entrance, but this place is super cool. It is a little touristy, but it's definitely worth a visit if you're coming to Sicily because there's just so many cool things to see here and it's really pretty. So we're gonna keep walking and show you some more fun stuff. Why was the town of Noto, a town you probably have never heard of, 
so important? Well, it's where two seas come together. It's towards one of the points of Italy, so there was a lot of commercial jobs going on here. A lot of rich people lived here, fresh water, an abundance of fresh water, and the countryside nearby meant that there was a lot of really great high quality products. And now you can visit and enjoy Sicily from this little cute town. We made it to Marza Mimi, and this is like the cutest little village. So this is the square. So we have places to eat all around. And we actually just ate by the water, had, well, I had a lovely pasta dish with a Sicilian pesto, which uses pine nuts and basil and tomatoes. And it was absolutely delicious. And now we're just wandering around. I'm gonna go check out the boats in the harbor. And this is just so picturesque and, I don't know, calming. And my favorite part about this place are the signs. There are so many, so many cute signs. is going to end today's little adventure on Sicily. I hope you enjoyed that look at this cute little seaside town and the awesome town of Noto. It's been so much fun and uh, I even lost my hat once, but I got it. These rocks are super fun to climb on. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.